California at the NASA Ames Research Center, where the world's largest vertical motion simulator is housed. Now, the VMS, as they call it, is used to simulate real-time flight situations. It's going to be awesome. Hello, sir. Entry pass required. Do the sidewalk come? Oh. oh, sidewalk? NASA, coming in. Daddy's here to fly some jets. That's a confident man right there. I'm going to fly some jets. All right, so I'm checking this bad boy out for the first time. I'm meeting with Dean Giovanetti, the branch chief. Dean? Hi, Matt. Welcome. Come on up. I'm there. Do I need a hard hat? No. No concussions? No. Sweet, man. How you doing? Very good. Good to see you. Nice Welcome to, see you. to the Vertical Motion Simulator. Thank you. This thing looks pretty big. Yeah, it is pretty big. It's uh, about 10 stories tall and about 40 feet wide. And the simulator cab travels up and down in the entire volume. Why is it so big? A simulation typically starts with this cab being in the middle of this building. As you fly around, the simulator moves around to replicate those accelerations that you would feel if you were in the aircraft. Now, here's the trick, and this is where the size comes in. After you complete that turn, what we have to do is bring this machine back to its center position without you knowing about it. Why? Because that's not what you feel when you're flying the real aircraft. Gotcha. So I'm going to feel like I'm 200 miles west when really I'm two feet to the east. That's right. Do you know I really want to fly that today? I think we can arrange a ride for you. What am I going to be doing? I believe this is set up to simulate the space shuttle. What are the odds of like my success ratio? Yeah, pretty good. Really? Uh, yep. It might be a little bumpy compared to what the astronauts can do, but right. you should be able to get it down without breaking the landing gear. That's a good thing. So today we're doing the space shuttle. Mm -hmm. So what happens tomorrow, like if you know you got the pilot needs to do the F-15 Tomcat or some kind of jet? Like that cab is removed and a new cab is put on, and that's one of the things that makes this uh, facility so unique is that we're able to very quickly change aircraft. Like, what are some big names that were trained here at this facility? All of the astronauts that, f that uh, pilot the space shuttle uh, have come through here. So at the end of today, when it's all said and done, do you think I'd be able to fly a space shuttle? I think so. I'm excited. All right, I'm going to go talk some more about this bad boy. Thanks, man. Good luck. Hi, you must be Matt. I am. This thing is awesome. What was your name? My name is Bruce Bell. Bruce, and what do you do here? I'm uh, the shop manager. We provide all the uh, mechanical and maintenance support for the VMS. We're, we're in motion. Uh, bring it back to dock, please. We're bringing it back to its dock position so that we can roll out the uh, drawbridge and enter the simulator. Sweet. So I get to drive it? You get to drive it. Patience, big man. First, we got to show you about this machine, let you know what's going on before we get you in there. That makes sense. Okay, so obviously we're underneath the machine now, right? That's correct. You know, how does it move? Is this all hydraulic based? It is. Uh, first, we start with the base of the simulator cab, and then that is attached to what we call our gimbal system which gives us pitch and roll. Pitch is nose up and nose down. Okay. Roll is wing right. to wing. It's mounted to this blue cone, which gives us our yaw. So pitch, roll, and yaw, they're the different motions okay. you need to simulate flight. So planes can actually turn all those different ways. Absolutely. Like Top Gun. Yes, exactly. We got something else to look at? What? Yes, down here. We'll... Watch your head. Watch your head. You stop here for a minute, Matt. Let's, let's take a look at, uh, this is the way we have DC motors that run the lateral carriage in, in the room. Let, let me show you how this thing uh, moves. Hey, Pete, go ahead and uh, jog lateral. Look at that thing go. How far does it go this way? A full 40 feet in lateral. You have a story? Like, has anyone ever puked on this thing? There's been a few. Really? The number one rule, though, is if you puke in the simulator, you clean it up. <laughs> I don't think so. The simulator's tilt and lateral movements are impressive, but the vertical lift is really amazing. Hold up a minute, Matt. Yeah. Right here, what we have here is I want to show you the vertical drive system. Hey, Pete, go ahead and jog it vertically. What, what these columns do, you've got two columns on the beam, and that's what drives the beam vertically. So there's a, an outer tube and an inner tube. The inner tube is filled with nitrogen, and that supports the mass of this machine, so the motors don't have to work so hard. What's up with those chains? Yeah, that's the catenary system, and that's what provides all of the electronic inputs and the hydraulics for the motion base. And it allows it to follow that cab wherever it goes in, in the perimeter, pretty much like an umbilical cord. Next, Bruce and I head down to the heart of the powerful vertical drive system. Nice. So we're in the pits now, huh? We're in the pit, nice. the MS pit. This is where you've got eight vertical drive motors. They're 150 horsepower each, and that's what drives the vertical rack. We've got 600 horses over here, 600 over here. That's right. Total of 1,200 taking us. That's right. And since the nitrogen is taking the load of this machine, it allows these motors to perform with extreme quickness. That's how you get the G-force? Right. So this is obviously where you have, right? Yeah, this is our iCab area. Different cabs are configured differently depending on what type of sim you're going, you're going to do. The red is the fighter. The blue we use for vertical lift, rotocraft. The end cab can be set up for a helicopter, and then three or four days later, we've switched it over to be a lunar lander. How do you take this cab and transport it all the way over there. We uh, lift it up with the overhead crane and put it on this portable cart and then motor it around to the open door of the VMS and then it's trained from there up onto the motion base. Nice. All right, Matt, here we are. Ready for your flight. This is your simulator that you're going to fly, Matt. 
Well, I, this is well, this is uh, one of our advanced models. <laughs> what is this? Believe it or not, uh, this is what they trained all the pilots back in World War II. Are you kidding? No, this is exactly this is a Singer Link uh, simulator. It's a real historic piece. It was a state of the art at the time. It's worked with bellows, and when you got in there, you were in a, in a dark environment. They used to call them the Blue Canoe. Get in, see how it fits. Are you kidding me? I'll get in this thing. <laughs> this is not going to be pretty. But most pilots weren't quite your size. Little horse jockeys probably fit well in this. Actually, fit quite nice. So I close the door. How do I look? <laughs> Alright, so what do I need? Do I need to put a quarter in this thing, some tokens to get it going? Fighter race mentality. Fat guy in a little plane. Oof. It's alright, we'll fix it. It's exactly what we didn't want to happen. Man, there you down. Go. It's okay, it's a little Let's bit turbulent. See, see how quick we respond to changes? Yeah. Goose, you got me? <laughs> We're going down! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my gosh! Seriously, that's all fun and games and stuff, but um, I'm tired of breaking things. I want to fly a real simulator. Alright, it's time, Matt. Let's go back to the real thing. Ooh, shaft in my crank. Not feeling well. Thank you. Okay. I've been waiting the entire day for this moment. Actually, my entire life. My childhood dream comes true now. I'm very nervous, very excited. Go Matt, time. You ready to fly? I'm ready, sir. Let's go. All right. Yes. Are we ready? Ready, buddy. All right. My beautiful wife, my beautiful baby. I don't fly without him. Put you right there. I'm like Cougar. You ever seen Top Gun? Oh, yeah. Remember when Cougar loses it at the end? Yeah. They might call me Cougar. In a few days, when the astronauts train in the same module, it'll be Monday through Friday for three weeks straight. A little more intense than what Bo and I will be doing. All right, I got the lights illuminating the runway. I can see the runway off in the distance. Good. We're at 10K. 20 degrees. All right, I don't really understand the pedals. For steering when you get on the ground. Jeez, I'm nervous. I didn't think I'd be this nervous. All right, what's your call sign? Just call me Bo. That's All right, I'm big sexy. Okay. okay. <laughs> uh, cockpit's ready. The computer is ready. Operate. Are we in flight? Yeah, we're in flight. Okay. Hey, I heard you. So you see on the right-hand side, 7,000? Yes, sir. 6,500? Six, oh, we're going fast. We've already lost 4,000 feet. Yes, a mile. Here's 5,000 miles oh, to go. Now, be honest with me. Am I doing anything right You're here? You're not doing you? anything. It shouldn't be doing anything. I'm flying. Okay. Okay, we start to come up. 2,000 right, 1,000. decluttered. Okay. You can see the uh, runway out there in front of us. All right, I've decluttered, and the only thing that went away is my runway view. Everything That's else fine. There. That's fine. Now you can see that we're a little bit off here to the right. 260, we're at 100 feet. 100 feet, Bo, we're at 50. We're going too fast. It's now too fast. Bo! There we go. That was a smooth landing for you. We're, huh? not, we're not there. Here we are now. Wow, this is so real. Oh, are we too far to the right? Yes. So now you're steering with your feet, right? Yes. So was that a smooth landing? Is that about as good as it can get? The landing was smooth. I was off to the right. I got, I got okay, it. Okay, I put my feet on the brakes. So we've gone through the first one. So this next one, am I on my own? Uh, yeah. I'm, hey, I'm changing my call sign. Computer's ready. I'm old Phantom Tiger now. Old Phantom Tiger's ready to go. Cockpit's ready. Operate. All right. 9,500. You're off to the right a little bit with your airplane symbol. Move it to the left a little bit so that you'll go over as a diamond. I just can't find it, Bo. Damn it! Tilt the stick to the left. Okay. Okay. It's a feeling. I don't okay. have it. Don't overcorrect. Don't overcorrect. I don't have it. I'm going down, Bo. We're at 3,500 feet. Yes. Stay with me. Stay with me, babe. Okay, now start the pre-flare. Here, here come the... Start the pre-flare. I'm drawing a blank. I don't I, remember I, what the pre-flare is. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Oh, God. So they're saying you're low. All right. I'm now low. you're very low. Let me take it. No, I got it. I got it. Okay, Trust me, Bo. Okay, with you're going to land in the overrun. Pull it up. Pull it up. A little bit. A little bit. Just sensitive. Little bit. Sensitive. Come down. Yeah. Come down. Whoa. What happened? Uh, we hit too hard. I failed? Well, it didn't land right. How come I didn't feel it? It just won't let you do that. But what happened was you, you have to do that pre flare smoother, and on the inner glide slope, you know, you have to bring the nose up. All right, this one will be perfect. I'm changing my call sign to the last one. The call sign now is big thing. And you think it's the call sign that's doing this, right? It's the call sign. It's not me. I mean, come on, to be honest. Do you want to do one more uh, one? God bless you. All right, throw the book at me. Give us a 5,000. Yeah, there we go. What is it? Uh, <laughs> is this clouds? Yes. Okay, this one is going to have a ceiling, a nav offset, and you're going to Zaragoza. Zaragoza is in Spain. Really? It's one of the emergency sites. And computer's ready. Big thing is ready. Cockpit ready. I'm ready. All right. You know, work really hard to keep it all lined up. Gotcha. Why is this harder for me? Is she throwing something different at me? No. Okay, here we're coming up for pre-flare. Can't see anything, but you still got to do the pre-flare. All right, here we go. There you go. Ooh. Okay, keep it rotating. Keep it rotating. Stay with me, here. Okay. Don't let me down. Fly. Okay, put it up on the horizon. Put it on the horizon. Don't let me down, sweet bow. There you go. Nose down. Nose down all the way. Yeah. Okay. Steer with your rudders. Don't hate Estella. <laughs> Don't hate. Just because I conquered your little mission here. Hey. Oh, I didn't give you the whole thing. Is that right? <laughs> it was being nice. Oh, uh, that was fun. Oh yeah, it's always fun. Would you fly with me? Well, maybe not yet. You could be my wingman anytime. <laughs> what an unbelievable experience to bring the space shuttle in for a landing. Fulfillment of a lifetime dream. Oh well, all in a day's work for this TV astronaut. I've always appreciated them, but today I got a newfound respect for our astronauts and pilots. Because that was very difficult. And that's exactly what they do here at the world's largest vertical motion simulator. 
They take aerospace vehicles, astronauts, and pilots. They put them up there in real time, worst case scenarios, and they train them to overcome them. I want to thank my crew. Hey, dream come true for me. Thank you very much. That was awesome. Thank you very much.